Hey guys, it's Skulker 3 and welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Rhythm Tengoku. In the last part, we completed this column, in this part we're going to do this one. Same old story. Uh, so yes, here we have Plinky Machines 2. And it gets nice and tricky for us. Look at all those balls flying everywhere. It's absolute madness, guys. But, um, I have to say... It's a pretty simple sort of game, but I do really like it. It's a lot of fun. And the sounds are a lot of fun. The sounds are a lot of nice. Me is having good at English. But, the ri that said, the rhythms do, ni do get nice and tricky for you. And also, pretty quick. And some of them go on the offbeats, as that one did there. And, ah, uh, help! You've got to deal with, like balls going over several different like rhythms of other balls as that one did there it went nice really slowly when there were loads of quick ones and however <laughs> I did that pretty well considering I was still talking at the same time and those guys are nice and laid back again um, that's pretty hilarious this is um, gamepad buddies 2 and I'm pretty sure this one <laughs> again gets nice and I should stop saying to get nice and tricky I think it should be implied by this point but they also have bizarre haircuts now. Because, <laughs> you know, once you're in the sky, you have to, uh, you have to get weird hair. It's like, lore of the sky. This is one of the worst ones to talk over, because you, it's hard to hear what name they're yelling out. Especially when it does, like, a big throw up like that, or when it's a uh, key and throwing to someone. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is probably one of the games, like, the Jinten Goku in the whole, is probably one of the games I wind up being just randomly completely silent most on. Because focusing is so important with rhythm, isn't it? Um, you have to coordinate loads of different things with this. Um, not just this game, but the whole game in general. Um, when you're talking at the same time. You have to concentrate on making sure that your talking makes at least vague sense. Uh, you have to focus on your sense of rhythm, and you have to make sure that you're pressing the right buttons. And in terms of the complexity of rhythm stuff, or like the complexity of the buttons you have to press to get the rhythm correct, it's not quite the same as future installments of the series from what I've seen. Um, I think the third game in the series is simpler for it. Um, but the second one is a bit more complex, but you'll see that in future days, because I am going to be doing Let's Plays of all the Rhythm Tengoku series, uh, or the Rhythm Paradise slash Rhythm Heaven series, and that's another superb, so we're blazing through this column pretty nicely. Um, and here we have Factory World 2. I'm sure it was something else than World last time, but I don't really care. And I think the main one this time is that it's faster. But there are definitely more complex rhythms coming up later on. Like there, it's on the offbeat, which is something I definitely find annoying in the rhythm stuff. I mean, I can deal with it just fine overall. Well, I say I can deal with it, I don't mind it that much, but it also is a bit tricky at times. Especially when it switches between the beat and the offbeat. That's when it gets nice and evil. But you'll see a prime example of that in a second. <laughs> game, the one for the DS. But yes, in any case, but yeah, do you see what I mean by more complex reasons? You've got one beat in one and then straight away a beat in the other. It makes like pretty nice rhythms, I'll say that much, but it's pretty complex to do and it's also so fast paced that, oopsie. So apparently if you're just a little bit too early, then you'll stop progress entirely. Hopefully that'll still be a superb... Oh, come on! I missed one. I mean, I missed it pretty drastically, but there's only one of them. Um, but anyways, oh, there's no way I'm trying to get a perfect on that, my friends. In any case, yes. Um, back in a sec with the superb attempt.
Okay, I think that should be it. Um, there's a lot of exclamation marks, so hooray! Man, we are getting through this quickly. We're already like halfway through the column and we're only six minutes in for my recording. In fact, it will be the exact same for you guys since I don't need to edit anything out yet. Um, but yes, here we have the baseball too. And we get more lovely messing with our visuals to deal with. But it's the same song as far as I'm aware. Um, can't really remember for certain uh, how complex it gets. I'm not really too familiar with this one. I should imagine there'll be plenty of really fast beats to deal with, though. Oops. Probably be like... Oop. Uh, yeah, there you saw there was a long beat and... You... Normally there's a sort of wait afterwards. But there, there wasn't. It went straight into another ball, which is... Oh, it's nice and confusing for us. Oh, okay, this is what it does. It gets intense quick. This is the other thing I was expecting could possibly happen. I think typically with this, when you're in the second ones, then the only... Oh, I remember it gets even faster as you go along. It's not just quicker, it's increasingly quicker. Oh, God. Help. Oh, boy, I'm failing here. Oh, yeah, and of course the music disappears, so you're just relying on your own... Oh boy. Dum -bum. Oh. Well, that was nice and fun, but that was a try again, apparently. That was so crap. Oh no! We have angered the great sky octopus, and I think I clicked out of the window. Oh, maybe not. Um, but yes, we angered the sky octopus, which is never a good idea. So, let's do our best to appease him. Back in a sec. And that's what I call superb. Um, yes, we won the joy of the miniature space octopi. Not sure about the enormous one, though. He didn't still... I don't know, he wasn't there, so I can't tell if he likes me anymore. Um, and yes, now we have sneaky spirits, too. So that's going to be an absolute riot to deal with, because if it's one failure and you're out, then... Oh, boy. Two... So far, doesn't seem too difficult, does it? Well, just you wait, my friends. I should imagine. I, that's the thing. I think I said this before, but beyond this point in the game, I'm not too good at... Oh, bugger. Uh, I'm not too good at remembering what exactly changes. Um, I don't know, I just... Sorry. I guess I just just doesn't make that much of an impression on me when I play it through or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll remember it after this point. Maybe it's that I play this game through up until, oh, yes, uh, up until the point where the uh, re go the. I me, I'm good at English. Um, until the games start repeating themselves, and then I just go, meh. I don't want to do that again. I mean, that would. Well, no, I don't know. I think I'd go through at least the first column of them because Remake Six is my favorite one, for reasons you will see. Um, not to say the other ones aren't good or anything, but Remix 6, I like it for a specific reason. Oh, oh come on. I'm doing very badly at this so far. Um, yeah, as you can see, the ghost one isn't... It's not too different. Um, main thing is that there's a lot of faster ghosts. And then there's some which have really weird rhythms, like that one which was 
a low down, then a high up, then a low down, then a high up, and apparently you're allowed to fail once or several times because I did there and it still got superb, so whatever. And Bandicam exploded again. Um, so that's a lot of fun. Anyways, here we go with remix number nine. Well, for me, remix number eight, which will be in part last Monday, which for me is today. <laughs> oh god, it's confusing. Anyways, yes. Uh, so, remix number nine. Now, the reason I've put this one all the way at the end here is because this remix is very interesting. This remix features every single game we've played um, so far. Uh, like the first version of it. Um, and it's also made up, it's made a song out of all of the normal songs that they had. It hasn't created a new song for them. You can hear all the tunes of the individual songs or individual mini games in this one. So if you listen to this. That is the same tune that played in the actual mouse minigame. Um, I think I've made the explanation clear enough at this point. Uh, but yeah, uh, and that's why I wanted to put this at the end as a sort of finishing off thing, you know? Um, makes it seem a bit more special. Uh, but yes, so this is the only time you'll see a few of the games, um, like a second time round, really. I just realised where my maths went wrong. <laughs> From like all those parts, I was like, huh, "How many more? Uh, how many of the games do you play twice?" Hmm. Well, it's 16 because it's four games. But anyways, that's irrelevant. Um, but as you see, yes, we got all of the games that we didn't play again. They're still here and everything. Got the bloody monkeys, which for me, I've only just done the second round of. But for you guys, that was like what four parts ago. So you know, craziness. I'm talking to you from the past. I mean, I know I do that with every video, but like, the extra past. Double past, if you will. Blue perfect. Blue perfect of existence itself. And yes, I really. I don't know, I think it's just me being a bit of a nerd or whatever, but I really like uh, how they've got every single game incorporated with their own music. It's just like a nostalgia trip within the game itself. This is pretty nifty. Um, but yeah, no, I do definitely like this song. I've listened to this remix so many times that I've basically got it memorized at this point. So if I mess up, that makes it double embarrassing. Like that! Hey! <laughs> Perfect timing there, guys. Um, but yeah. I think I've really kind of run out of things to say on the topic of this being remix number six and the way it is. So I should probably stop talking so I can actually do it properly, whatever. Man, it's really weird also, I'm gonna have to sort of deal with another time thing, which I'll focus on later, when I'm not playing a remix. Uh, but yeah, because it's gonna unlock the next row, so I'm gonna need to edit that into part 6. But, it'll be remix 7 playing there, and then all kinds of crazy crap. Anyways, that's been thought for later, and I'm definitely failing this, I can tell you that much. Oh well, maybe next time. Oh, you. I remember you back before you were a woman. That was crazy. I don't know who I preferred you as, quite frankly, because as a man you sounded a lot scarier, but as a woman you made much more terrible demands. I have to say, I like the moustache on the guy on the right. I mean, again, I'm good at directions or orientation. The guy on the left, he's got a good moustache. I don't think I ever mentioned it before, despite the fact that I've played this game so many times at this point. And yes, there we have it, guys. Except that I'm going to go and do my superb temp now, because there's no way in hell that was a superb. That wasn't even an okay, that was bloody hell. <laughs> um... So yeah, that's that's a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> do -do -do Anyways, yes, I'm gonna go do my perfect attempt now. Back in a sec.
Okay, I think... Yeah, there we go. Uh, so yes, that is the end of remix number 6, which I'm saying is remix number 10, because I'm being weird about it. But yes, and with that, we finally get our credits. Or, you know, for you guys, it's finally, for me, it's still sort of in the middle. But hey, you were so good at rhythm that we're now going to make you look at people's names. I hope you like that, because you can't read what I'm saying right now, can you, you dork? I bet that's precisely what little drum samurai is saying. But anyway, we still got more minigames for you, but not for your Let's Play, because you've decided to be a weirdo about it. Well, see you later. You too, drum samurai. See you later. And yes, there we have our Rhythm Tengoku credits with Y Sakamoto and K Yamano. Yamano! Dun dun dun! Anyone who, doesn't get the anyone who doesn't get the reference, go find Persona 4 somewhere around the place. Um, and yes, yeah, so we just get a little snapshot through all the minigames we played. Oh, those are good times. Uh, but yes, uh, and this project is still not over. We've still got a lot of things to show off, like little rhythm toys and things like that. But in terms of the minigames, that is it. So that's a lot of fun. Um, I have to say, I've really enjoyed this game, but that said, it is arguably my least favourite of the Rhythm Tengoku series, or the Rhythm Paradise slash Rhythm Heaven series, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's not bad, by any means. I just... I think it has fewer memorable games, fewer memorable songs, and things like that. And also, I can't understand the vast majority of it, but you know. Um, though I will say, I like the Kimono Girls one and the Fireworks. They definitely were some of my favourite games. And there's our little drum samurai. We'll get into him a bit later, because he still has a function in this game than to be there as an MC. But yes, I'm going to end this part here, guys, with the lovely credits. So thank you very much for watching this part of Let's Play Rhythm Tengoku. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.